I'm Roger Wakefield, Lead AP, the expert plumber. Welcome to Plumbing Life Q&A with Roger Wakefield. That's me. If you want to learn plumbing by receiving the best information, if you believe that your opinion matters and you want it to be heard, if you really have a love for getting into and better at the trades and you want to have a freaking amazing time doing it, learning and contributing, this is the place to be. I think you'll like what you're, I think you'll like that your opinion here matters. We want to hear it and we want to let you hear other people's opinions too. So first of all, how is everybody doing today? Lynn jumped in first, says, hi, Roger. How are you? Let me go through here. Got to stop. Stop already? Really? Come on. RoboSeal, what's up? Good to see you in here. Boy, they jump quick. Nathan Bieber, what's up? Good to see you. Miss Lynn, what's going on? Matthew Wax says, is it a bad idea to go non-union if you don't know whether or not you want to own your own business? Uh, number one, can, can everybody hear me fine? I had I had problems last time. Uh, uh, I hit the mute button. Uh, I don't think I've done it this time. I can look down. It's not lit up, so I think I'm good. Uh, so if everybody can hear me, just give me a thumbs up or give me a yes or say hashtag yes. Okay, so you can hear me. Good deal. Lynn got her toilet working. I love that. Matthew Wax says, it's a bad idea to go non-union if you don't know whether or not you want to own your own business. Can you transfer your union after you have your journeyman license? Here's the deal, Matthew. And this is really a good question, and I've been through it. I got it, guys. Thank you. I am so glad that y'all can hear me. Uh, I don't know why I don't look focused over here, but I do over here. Uh, we'll see what happens here. Anyway. Here's the thing, Matthew, you can be a union employee. Whenever you decide to open your own company, you can get out of the union. They'll normally say, look, you've got enough time built up that you can do different things. You can, you can wait nine months. You won't lose your insurance because what time you've got invested. Then you can get out. You can actually open your own company start doing everything. And then when it gets time to lose your insurance, you can decide, do you want to go union or not? That's what I did. Uh, and I got to tell you, it, it, it was a good thing for me. It was also a bad thing for me. I got right back out of it. Uh, Jonathan Wheeler says, what's up everybody? Power use says, I submitted my application to the plumbing union today, local 130. It just opened today. So where is local 130? I have not heard of that one. Just out of curious, jump, curiosity, jump back in there and let us know. Joseph Paul, man, it is another beautiful day. Had a great weekend, went down to Houston, uh, went to Houston with Master Networks, a uh, company that I own down there. It was fantastic. Got to meet a lot of people or got to hang out with a lot of people. I knew got to meet some new people. So, man, it was really good. And the neat thing is, how many of y'all, and, and if you're in the chat in here, I see Steve, Ar Ar Steve Arloa is already in here. Good to see you. Hey, Colton, I see you're in here. Do I look like I'm in focus? I look like it through Restream, but I don't look like it on my YouTube, at least not that I can tell. Uh, and my settings over here. Oh, that may be why. That looks a little better. Okay. So in anyway, here's my question. How many of y'all are in business where you go networking, where you get out, you talk to other business professionals about their business, about your business, about how you can create a synergistic partnership to help each other. Just checking because before I got into, and I'm turning off my phone just so I don't get bothered. Uh, before I got into plumbing, I'd never gone networking. Man, now I make a living at it. Uh, select L-O-L-V-J. Thanks for the cool video. I don't know. Do I, I don't know which videos. I don't do cool videos. I do plumbing videos. I know that's kind of funny, but they are kind of cool. Tony says, how good? Oh, good. How about you? You know what? Number one, welcome from Pennsylvania. Everybody who's in here right now, if you would, and this is kind of early. I've only got 27 people in here. Where are you from and what do you do? What part of the country do you live in and, and what do you do? Uh, Power of Youth says, you got this. Absolutely. Merchandise number five, great seeing you in here. 
got a yes. Good. Lynn says, want to thank you. Got your toilet working last Monday after the live. I tell you what, when you get your toilet working and you did it yourself, that's worth a pat on the back. Just, just make sure you wash your hands first. Good. Thank you. I'm, look, I, I love that I got y'all in here. Aaron Papano says, why are plumbers getting away from soldering? You know what? I saw that post the other day, a guy saying, hey, look, soldering is going to be, be illegal. You know what? It's going to be illegal if that's the BS that you're selling your customers. You know, here's the thing. Look, we've been soldering for 100, got 100 years. It ain't going anywhere. Just because ProPress is out, just because those freaking push together fittings are out, and that's who's trying to sell it. Oh, the push together fitting people are saying this is what you need. No, it's not. It's not. Plumbers are trying to get away from it because they're lazy. They don't know what to do, and they're not smart enough to learn. I hate to say it, but if you're a plumber and you're using push-together fittings, give your plumbing license back. Sorry, I'll get off my soapbox now. Thank you. Glad you can. Aviation mechanic, I love it. Got some yeses here. Good to see it. Roger, the VIP, very important plumber. I'm, man, there's nothing important about me, I promise. Uh, Jonathan Wheeler says, I won't be here as long today as usual. I guess you got work to do. That is a good thing. My brother, Mr. Sean Strong, is in the house. So if, if you're not familiar with, man, our subreddit, if you're not familiar with our Discord, you need to check them out. You will see Sean Strong. If you have not followed Sean Strong over on Instagram, it's boom underscore the plumber. Go check it out. And if you have not checked out our other YouTube channel, and I think I'm going to wait till I get five. I don't know. We're, we're, we're trying to figure out 500 videos or a thousand or, or 500 followers or a thousand. Uh, I'll put a link in here and show y'all what we got going on over there. Uh, well, that's all. That button came up wrong. Maybe, maybe I shouldn't have done this. Okay, it's, it's, it's what I do sometimes. The wheels have fallen off before, I promise. So this time they're maybe just falling off a little further. There we go. See, we're almost at 500. That's actually pretty cool. So I'm going to throw this in here. So that is the link to the other YouTube channel, the Trade Talks. And, and y'all, it's funny because I was, I was talking about Sean Strong today. Sean, I think I'm going to see if I can get you to fly to Dallas. Get you to come down here and, and, and let's shoot a video and do a live stream or something. Steve Harloa, brother in the house, says aloha, everyone listening but driving, so I'm not really in the chat. And it's hard to be in a chat on YouTube when you're driving down the road. I've tried it. It's not good. Can you use Pexay on brass fittings like shower fittings? Yes, you can. Nathan Bieber says aviation mechanic. I uh, saw it, brother. Love it. 130s in Chicago. Cool deal. Well, Chicago's got a good strong unit. I don't know why there's another one, but that's pretty neat. Man, Sean Strong says, Mr. Wheeler, you ready to go to sleep yet? Man has been working. Drive 4 a.m. Man, if you've been driving that long, brother, you've been going at it. Uh, DJ Miranda Zach Sachs says, hello, Roger. want to take my journeyman license for plumbing, live in L.A., but I don't know what to concentrate on, what's going to be on the test. Number one, <clears throat> do you have a test? Do you have a journeyman test? Because I know in California, you get your contractor's license to open up your business, and then you get to really pick who the journeymen are. At least that's the way I was always told. If it's different, man, let me know. Hello there. Hello there. Got some communications going on. I, like, I love it. Editor Colton says, look, crystal clear. And, yeah, once I switched over, my, my res on the my monitor over here for my YouTube was set at 360 or something. <clears throat> now this is bad. Let me see this. I'll see if this is right. We got 15 likes. 
Man, we are off to an amazing start. Nathan says, aviation mechanic. There we go. Okay, fine. Uh, Sean been up since 2.30. Man. Mr. Jonathan Wheeler, good to see you in here. I, I hope you're home safe and, and kick back and relax right now. Hunter Hayes says, glad to be in here on the way to the last call of the day. Jonathan does it every Monday. Man. Uh, should you be fine to smoke CBD? I didn't know you smoke CBD, but, you know, if it doesn't show up in your bloodstream, you should be fine. Cheese and rice. Tony is from Bell Vernon, Pennsylvania. Corrections officer, good to see you in here. Jonathan, Alabama truck driver, we get it. Uh, Matthew Wax is Ohio roofing manufacturer looking to get into plumbing union. Good for you. Garrett is Seattle and in security. Don Johnston, New Mexico, a magician. I mean, if you're a magician, you ought to be a common plumber. You can make people think things are working. I like that. Hunter Hayes is Cherokee Nation. Northeastern Oklahoma region, commercial and residential service plumber for Mullins Plumbing out of Broken Arrow. Now, Broken Arrow is not quite North Oklahoma, is it? I don't know why I was thinking it was down further little south, but you know what? It may be. I want to go get a cabin up here one time. I've heard it's beautiful. I love going up to Oklahoma City and eating at Nick's Burgers, Nick's Grill. Love that place. Josh Sanson in Indianapolis, in Indianapolis. Stationary engineer, powerhouse apprentice coming up my first year, February 3rd. Good for you. Shadow Stock, I am doing amazing. Merchandise 5, Alabama working at a co-op. Drain Medic says, I agree, give it back. Frank Baird says, from the greater Chicago area, about to join either the electrician's union, plumber's union, or become a pilot. I love all three, but just trying to figure out which one to become. i tell you what, out of those three, I'd pick a pilot. I, I love to fly. I love to travel. So, man, more power to you. Steve Arloa says, can't stand it when other plumbers don't sweat the pipe. I'll tell you what, I, I'm like you to an extent. I do understand that there are times where pro press may be better. But I've never been in a position where I said, look, just take a sharp my own, we'll call it good. To me, the day I do that, I think I'll just get back my plumbing licenses, all of them. Steve Johnson says, Union Springs, Alabama, bus driver, here because love the information you provide. And where we live, there are almost no plumbers. So I like doing it right when I have to do it myself. Brother, congratulations and good for you. I like that. And there is the links, the links to the Discord and the subreddit, and Sean Boom underscore, or yeah, Boom underscore the plumber. You can find him on both. Colin Dowde says, what about ProPress? I have no problem with it. No problem at all. I actually love it. Okay, so that, this, this looks more like it. There you go. I'll leave those up there for a minute. Matter of fact, I will tag that one up there, so that should kind of hanging around. Yeah, I got that. Mr. Joe T back in the house, HVACR. How are we doing? There's a link to the channel again, guys. If, if you look, we're, we're working on some cool things. We're working on a magazine, a podcast and a new YouTube channel. And it's going to be about all the trades, not just plumbing. So if you like what we're doing here, you think that, that we're having fun, we're doing what we do. We are, but we're going to do a little bit more of it on the other channel. I'll tell you what, I'm really excited to. Ordered a new camera today. A special camera. I've got cool things coming up with sponsorship opportunities. I've got... I just got a lot of cool stuff going on. This, this, this stuff is fixing to get fun. I am really looking forward to it. So I, I've got a question. And, and I'll tell you what, I'm going to wait a little later. Because I'm going to wait until I get some more people in here. Because I want to get a good, a good full view of it. Yeah. Sean, I love to fly too, brother. Con Dade, personally can't stand ProPress either. Very few situations. Uh, I will use one and only if pipe size is larger than inch and a half. 
I've used it smaller, Steve. Uh, there's times when we're doing repairs under a slab, you can't get the water slow down. And I, I agree, it can be done. But when you're under a slab fighting it, it takes most of the fun out of it. Steve says, don't forget to hit that like button. Yeah, if you like what we're doing, man, give us a thumbs up. If you haven't done it yet, hit the subscribe button. And if you know anybody that might enjoy hearing this information, share it with them. Christopher Perez says, hello, how's it going? Going great. Quick question. I have a year left till I'm eligible to take my master's plumber test. So don't know what the question is, but man. Oh, there we go. Donald's angry. How are we doing? Good to see you. And here be the question. It says, do I just have to take the written part? Christopher, where are you located? If you're in Texas, no. You have to do a different practical. Okay, there we go. You have to do a different practical for the master's exam. Uh, at Aiken, the, man, the, the Aggies don't even show up for bowl games. Why am I worried about what they do? I mean, Texas didn't make it to any, but you know. I think Texas is going to be good next year. I'm ready to see Texas and A&M play again. It's coming. Cheese and rice. Chris Heltness says, how you doing, Roger? Finishing my day doing plumbing CAD design and listening to the stream. I, th I tell you what, man, here's what I want to find. If anybody y'all know anybody, send me a message or, or, or tell them. If you know anybody that, that can do cartoons or video animation, I am looking for somebody for a couple of projects. Cameron Strickland says, Alabama Plumbing Apprentice. Good to have you in here. Mike Hadfield says, just got done unclogging sewage stop 400 feet. Covered in it at the moment. I'm sure he means in dollar bills because he's been having fun. Uh, Sean Strong says, we got people getting into the Discord right now. Glad to see you guys there. I think it's going to be a lot of fun over there. I'll tell you what, Sean, uh, I don't know if you saw me. I actually jumped in. The other day, I said hello, had fun. Adrian Leva says, hey, Roger, why does water? It does it because it can. Oh, no. Dragon's Rage says, it says, car got broken into last night. A lot of college tools got stolen in it. That is horrible. Clifton, congratulations to you. I've got, that. this year will be 42 years for me. I'm lucky. I, I still kind of have fun. And, and don't have to work as hard. Why would water flatulate in a single handle shower valve? Uh, there's bad cartridges in there that there's bad O-rings in there. There's bad something in there and it's making it vibrate and make noises it shouldn't make. If you choose to hit the dislike button, hit it twice. Man, I love that line, brother. I really do. Uh, yeah, if, if you hit the dislike button, just hit it again. Let me know. Uh, so, so th this is pretty cool. So I want to spend some time. So, man, I'm doing good on staying caught up, which was a plan that I had tonight. Thought I'd try something different. H here's the thing. I want to spend a minute and talk about what all we talk about on this channel and, and what all that, that we believe in and support. So first of all, we always talk about plumbers and, and what they do in the, the trades. And I, and I want to talk about a couple of different things. Actually, I've got six things that I think this channel is all about. And, and I want to go ahead and talk about it now because to me, th this, is what, this is what makes you different as a tradesman. Again, I'm going to say as a plumber, but if you want to become good, if you want to learn to get better, first of all, you've got to believe in learning. The trade that we're in, we never stop learning. There's new products, there's new tools, there's new materials, there's new equipment. There's so many things that we can keep learning that, that is just phenomenal for us. The next is positivity. If you get into this trade and you're not positive, if you get into any trade or any job and you're not positive, you're not going to like it. Step it up, get positive about it, love what you do. When I teach people about getting into the trades, one of the big things that I'm always asked is, Roger, what trade can I make the most money in? And really, it's very simple. You can make the most money in the trade that you love the most. And 
and that, that's all there is to it because if you love it the most, you're going to keep learning it. You're going to try to get better at it. So many opportunities there. So being positive is big. But then be optimistic. Understand that we don't all learn the same. We don't all grow the same. But be optimistic that if you stick with it, you can. You can learn more. You can grow more. You can do amazing things in this trade, in any of the trades. If you'll keep your eyes open, your heads up, and, and keep learning what you can. The next is, is recruiting. <clears throat> and, and this is what I try to do so much. Try to help more people get into the trades. And, and it doesn't have to be just plumbing guys. We need help in all the trades right now. There are over 900,000 unfilled construction trades jobs across the United States. And we should all be helping to recruit to them each and every day. The next one is plumbers protect the health of the nation. That's why we're the best. Uh, I don't mean that bad to my electrician friends or my HVAC friends, but if they mess up, they can, they can kill somebody, they can hurt somebody, they, they can do some things like that. If plumbers mess up, that they, they can kill a city, they can kill a municipality. If plumbers do things wrong, a lot of people can get sick and a lot of people can die. So plumbers do protect the health of the nation. And then the last one, man, love of the trades. You've got to love what you do. And if you talk to most people that are in here that are plumbers that have been in here a while, Man, we do. We think what we do is phenomenal. So my whole thing is find something that you enjoy. If it's not the trades, find something else. But I got to tell you, this is phenomenal, and I love what we get to do. Uh, let me jump back over in here and some questions. <clears throat> Brendan Dennison says, what extra tools would I need to install an LP furnace? Man, shouldn't need much of anything. If you've got plumbing tools, you should have what you need. Adrian Leva says, thank you for answering my question. Much appreciated. I greatly value your opinion. Thank you, sir. And then Rudy Bustamante says, Roger, did you see my question? Uh, if I did, I answered it because I have not even had to skip around tonight. It's actually gone through. And Rudy, I'm scrolling back up and I don't see a question anywhere. If I missed it, somebody give me a shout or... Rudy, if you want to, just put it back in there. Trying. Thank you, though, Rudy. Thomas says, hey, Roger, every time I run my garbage disposal, all the other compartment of your two compartment sink backs up. Why? Well, your P-trap or your drain arm, you've got a clog in there somewhere. You need to get it cleaned out. Is That's probably what it's going to be, and that's an easy one to take care of. Ron Lovell says, hello, Roger. How are we? Donald's angry. What is the best D and D class? Hmm. Design. Detail. YouTube. Just saying. Clifton, man, you picked the right person. Yes. Uh, I started using the T-drill about 25 years ago. Uh, I used to work for a fire protection company. We were able to T-drill the mains. And, you know, people laugh at me for seal floss. They're like, oh, man, I'd have fired you. Well, you know what? I did it for a long time for a sprinkler company, and I didn't get fired because we didn't have leaks. It was really good. So, yeah, I've used them, used them a lot. I love them. I think they're a great tool. Thomas Milady says, thank you. You're more than welcome. Ron Lovell liked your last video with the rough end walkthrough. You know, we, we had fun doing that. Uh, Ron, I don't know if you saw the video previous to that where we did the rough end underground. Uh, we, we've put a few videos up about how to plumbing, like out in the field, how to plumb a house. Uh, th those have actually, man, those have actually done pretty good. Aaron Barea says all three toilets in the house fill up, but the drain, but then drain down a few inches. Just change all three. They're fill valves because they were making noises in the ideas. But they're not draining fast. It's the drain. It's not the fill valve. 
Uh, I would go out and open your two-way clean out, see if you have any water in there. Steve Johnson says, if installing a new set of lines for a washing machine, should I run a new line from the hot water heater? Can I tap off the existing line? Then you can probably tell on the existing line unless you're adding another unit. Yeah, if you're adding another unit, man, it's tough to say because not knowing if you got a three-quarter supply or a half, uh, and if that half caught something else, you don't want to overload your half-inch water line. <laughs> man, I hate that. Oh, uh, Maiden Day says, watching all the way from the Bahamas. I'm 20 and love learning plumbing and your educational videos. Keep going, Roger. Number one, I'm jealous that you're in the Bahamas. I'm jealous that Steve's in Hawaii. But at the end of the day, you know what? We just we keep doing what we do. Congratulations and thank you very much. Sean Strong says, my big butt just knocked the toilet tank lid off the sink and broke it. You know all I can say about that is I hope it's just the tank lid. I hope you didn't bust any tile on the floor. That can get bad. <clears throat> Zach and Lindsay says, Roger, love your reaction videos. Now, we're almost up to 50 people when we get up there. I want to ask you all a couple of questions because it's videos that we're talking about doing. And I just want to get some ideas. 6-8 says, Roger, what is the best leak detector out in the market? Man, th there's two or three that I use that I like. I'm actually in the middle of designing my own right now. Uh, I, I, I'm designing my own because I, I can't find what I'm looking for out there. Some of these are over, there's too many gadgets on them, stuff that most plumbers will never use. And I've designed one that's very simple. Uh, I'm trying to find out having to get it, how to get it made, who to make it, stuff like that. But man, when it comes out, it's going to be amazing. I see it made me a button and I didn't even use it. Scroll up here yet. Jess Howard says, count the fixture units and check the pressure for the washer box. And, and that's it. But if it's in the wall, you may not be able to count the units to find out if it's caught on half or three quarter. Or what that line, what else that line feeds. <clears throat> Josh Sanson says, what are your thoughts on online virtual headset skill trades training, such as provided by interplay learning? Do you know of additional online training? I'm involved with an organization that, that, that helps companies learn to do the things they need to do to grow. What I like about it is they do have an online training where your techs are taught the steps by steps to learn how to fix things. I think there can be great things about it. Zach Malinsky says, what's the deal with shark bite fittings? I just, man, we've, we've fixed way too many of them. Uh, and when I mean way too many, we've fixed a lot of leaks. And, and I guarantee for every one solder leak we fixed, we fixed 10 shark bites. And that, that's the thing. It's a fitting. And it's funny, guys, because I want you all to think about this. Literally, I was watching, if you go into YouTube and search leadership, there'll be a Tony Robbins video pop up where he's interviewed by, I don't remember the guy's name, but he, he's like the president of, of Inc. 500. Uh, and, it, and it may not even be that. I, I could go ahead and find it, but here's the deal. Technology is moving so fast that it is going to slow down our wages. And I want y'all to listen to what I just said. Technology is moving so fast, it's going to slow down our wages. And, and, and this has to do with this right here. What is the deal with shark bite fittings? I want y'all to think about this. Any third grader could be taught to put shark bite fittings together the right way. I think shark bites has been a lot more money teaching people the right way so there aren't leaks instead of just selling it as the end-all, be-all product. But but here's the deal. Say they did make it better. Say, say somebody came out with, with a better product. Some, somebody came out and said, hey, look, I, I, I've got this little piece of plastic right here. You push a piece of copper here, you push, push a piece of copper here, it joins, it will never leak. You can 
wave your hand a certain way, it'll come apart, but it will never leak. It's phenomenal. I, I, I'm all on board. That doesn't bother me. But think about what I just said. Technology is going to hurt our wages because if they can create that product, what, what do they need to pay somebody that can solder for? They can just get one foreman and 10 or 20 apprentices, which is what the unions are trying to do now anyway, that there's not a one-to-one -one ratio like there used to be. Now a journeyman can work as many apprentices as he can see. Technology is getting better so that they don't have to pay us more and say, look, I'm still get it done quicker and easier just by using these fittings. Make sure you become a plumber that specializes in something that they can't take that skill away, that it can't just become automated. And that's going to help you make your career last a whole lot longer. Salvador Hernandez says, is Drano good product or do you recommend other products to get hair out of the drain? Uh, to get hair out of the drain, I recommend a cable. Uh, get it out the right way. Chemicals can mess up your drain lines. They're also dangerous. Be very careful with all the safety equipment that you need to be using. RoboSeal, can a washing machine clog drains? By the way, love your videos. And yes, it can. It can send enough lint and things like that down the drain that, that it does. So yes, indeed. Ron Lovell says, yep, I did see those videos pre-slab and after. They were great too. Are there any basements or crawl spaces in Texas? There are some crawl spaces not big enough for me to get like me and a camera crew in there. We've looked at it and we've talked about it. And, and really, I say there's not. But there are. I've just got to get permission. Yeah, Chris, you're right. Shark bites only for a temporary cap, temporary valve, something like that. Never put it in the wall or underground as a permanent fitting. Josh Sanson says, my company had an apprentice skilled trades test. Only around 50 applied, a little over 40 showed up with about 10% pass rate on the test. Is this bad advertising on the company or show a lack of interest? You know, and, and this is a good question. And I'll read through it again because I, I want to tell you my thoughts on it. Company had an apprentice skilled trades test. Okay, that's good. Do you mean the apprentices they had they gave the test to or they were trying to recruit? I'm assuming recruited because you said only about 50 applied. The fact that they got 50 applications is a good deal. Uh, the union here in Dallas brings in about 60 apprentices a year. So for an individual company to get 50 people, I think that is phenomenal. A little over 40 showed up with a 10% pass rate on the test. That means four out of 10 passed. Is this bad advertising on the company or show a lack of interest? And, and I think it's a little bit of both. Now, the bad advertising on the company may be bad advertising and not letting them know what would be expected. Lack of interest, I think the lack of interest is there. 50 applied, 40 showed up, 20% didn't. But here's what I'm looking at and here's what I'm thinking. You, say, you send those 40 to go watch my videos and then come back and take that test. They've learned something. They can talk about plumbing. They can, they, they, they'll know more than they don't know about it. And, and I'm not saying that to brag or anything, but look, people need to get ready for a test. If I were going to take a test on lead leadership and energy and environmental design, I would know something about it before I walked in. <clears throat> 10% pass rate is not good. Jack's Plumbing Videos says in the 1960s, they made ABS pressure fittings. One of the manufacturers was Yardley. And I've heard of Yardley. Josh Sun Sun says, we hire electricians, millwrights, plumbers, stationary engineers, for machi and machine repair people. Yes. Y'all are pretty good-sized company then, uh, Mr. Josh Sun Sun says this was in a city with a little over 1 million recruitment from outside of the company. Mr. Highway 03, is there any reliable glueless way to transition from CPVC to copper or other materials? Uh, because that's usually what you shark bites for when you have to. Uh, Pro press. Pro press, threaded fittings. I, I, I know you're saying glueless. Uh, why has it got to be glueless? 
And, and I'm asking because I don't get that. When when plumbers are using that as an excuse, hey, just so we don't have to glue something. Well, you, you don't have to solder something either, but if it's going to leak, it's not a good product. And, and just so you know, Mr. Highway 03, I've, I've fixed leaks on CPVC, CPVC, on shark bite, so it happens. Clifton says, in Nevada, use the UPC code. Do you use the UPC in Texas? Uh, my favorite study guide. is actually the 2018 Uniform Plumbing Code Study Guide. The reason is, I tell everybody, go to the back of it. The answers are there. Go to the front of it. Start in the front. As you see, I hadn't done this whole book. Go through and mark all the correct answers. You see, I've got them written there in yellow. And then go through and read it like a book. You do that in the end of a month, you're, you're going to know the code. It's a great thing. I love it. This is a company was measuring the apprentices to pick and choose the one they could work with. Absolutely. Front co hubs. Well, maybe not for a water line, but maybe for a drain line. Dry Sandstone says UAW represented auto manufacturers with a little over 1,200 employees. There you go, Josh. And Josh, I used to work out at Kraft Foods. I worked out there, first of all, in housekeeping. Uh, my mother worked in maintenance. Uh, man, I loved it out there. It was fun. Ross Henning says, hey, Roger, they say the trades are hurting bad, but it's still very rare to find apprentice jobs here in Connecticut. How do they expect to get good technicians in the future when they don't hire apprentices? And here's the deal, that they are hiring apprentices, and you've just got to keep looking around. And I, I don't know about Connecticut in particular, and I don't know if you're just trying to get on with one company. You know, I've got that free mini course over on my YouTube channel teaching you to figure out what kind of plumber you want to be. Once you figure that out, man, either go to the Yellow Pages, go to the TV, find out who the best plumbing company in town is in that category, and, man, start talking to them. I think it's messing up here. Yardley made lots of PVC and ABS pipe in the 60s, even made the first vinyl garden hose. Cool deal. Chris Helton says the glue question can be due to a leaking running system that doesn't close or want to get away from the 12, 24 hour cure time. Turn the system back under pressure. I get it. Susan V says, Hey, love your channel. How to practice for the NCRC. Hmm. Here's what I tell you. Okay, number one, it depends on which NCRC you mean. Uh, yeah, which NCRC are you talking about? Because there's, I'm coming up with five right there. Four. Not sure. Remember when the UPC was half the size of today? Absolutely. Ever had to change an anode rod on a ream Proterra? I have not. Heard it voided warranty. If you change it, I have not. When will people realize that trades are a good career path? Is it, brother, it ain't a good career path, Zach. It is an amazing career path. Think about a career path where you don't have to go to college. You don't have to go in debt. You get paid to learn. And to be honest, in four or five years when most of those kids that went to college are getting out, you're already making journeyman wages. You're making high-end pay. You're doing good. And if you've tried to become the very best in your trade, you're doing really good. Bryce, you're more than welcome. Chris is my bad. Two hours. Thoughts on going to school for plumbing. Steve, I, I tell you what, if, if I knew of a really good plumbing school, I would send people to it. Uh, I think that I think there's some out there. I have people call me all the time. M matter of fact, uh, I'm doing a, a live deal tomorrow night, I believe, for Upstrive. Uh, they've got online training. There's a lot of people that, that are, are working on putting some stuff together. I'm looking at building a training center where I can start out teaching slab leaks, leak detection, 
slab leak repair, and then eventually expand to get into plumbing. There, there's a lot of there's a lot of people that send me messages all the time that, hey, look, I want to learn to do leak detection. I want to learn to do what you do. And believe it or not, you can make a great living just doing that. Steve Ross says, have to return a phone call. Have fun. May take a little bit. Just in case you're not streaming when I get off the phone. Probably won't be. I'm trying to get out of here a little early tonight. So I am probably going to shut it down in about 20 minutes. Okay, so I tell you what. Why I got some people in here. I, I'm thinking about doing a video. where I put weird stuff down a garbage disposal and see if it'll dispose of it. If y'all wanted to see a video, if y'all were watching a video of mine, hopefully it's one you're watching. If you're watching a video of mine and you're thinking, okay, I cannot believe he stuck that in there. What would it be? What could we stick in a garbage disposal that would make y'all think, okay, that was crazy. Just trying to ask. And I've got some more questions later, but I'm going to start right there. So Highway, Man, Highway 03 pretty much answered it. Medium orange PVC glue has a cure time two hours. Can't really wait around that long to test if I've only repaired a small section of pipe. And, and man, look, I, I get it. Here's the deal. Sometimes things can't be fixed as fast as people want it done. Do you have to transition? Can you replace from PVC to copper, CPVC to copper, stuff like that? There's a lot of different ways to look at it. Now, mine says I go to tech school for plumbing and enjoy it very much, learning a lot. Man, I'm actually headed to the Texas State Technical College tomorrow to look at what they're doing and make a video because I know there's some cool things coming up in Texas. So I get to go check it out tomorrow. I'm all excited about it. Pony three-way edging clamp to pull stuck handles off valves. Man, there's a lot of things you can use to pull handles off valves, and a lot of them work. And Clifton, I, I really don't know. I, I try to recruit people into the trades all the time because I think it's fantastic. Small rotisserie chicken. That is what Sean Strong found in his shorts. Uh, Zach. Malinsky says a pineapple, water balloons. Okay, I, I know what you're talking about. Uh, I, I was playing though. It's great. A pineapple, water balloons, hello from Norway, a wire sponge, a penny, silverware, a cat. See, the cat would be fun. I like that. Pieces of different material pipe, chunks of ABS killed my last disposal. I like that. And then Dylan makes us get serious. Thoughts on union plumbing. Look, guys, I, I like the union. I, I loved getting into the union. I love the fact that I was very well educated by the union. I got to go to the instructor training program. I got to learn a lot to become an instructor. But I also, once I got into the union, now I got my master's license on my own. I got my med gas through the union. Then I got my WSPS and I got my multi-purpose residential on my own. The union has a good training program, has a good insurance plan. I just think the management of local 100 in Dallas was horrible. And that's what I had to deal with. So I think most of them are pretty good. Actually, I'm lucky because I got to meet most, meet a lot of them from across the United States. A lot of the business agents and business managers are great. Just, I think the people in Dallas aren't. They sold me a, a bill of goods they didn't fulfill. So. It is what it is. Uh, used a piece of pipe to clear a garbage disposal. I've done that. I've used a toilet plunger handle, screwdriver, tennis balls, wires of varying gauges. Okay, we got some pretty good stuff in here. See, I'm wanting to do a video where I set up a disposal, and I've got to set it where I can't shoot anything out of it. I don't want to go blind. But I'm wanting to set up a video where I put, I'm not going to say a cat, uh, where I put stuff down a disposal that, that most people think would not dispose. Anyway, looking forward to it. <laughs> Ron Lovell says the little plush toy you flushed in another video. He's back. That would be pretty funny. That could be funny. Uh so anyway, that, that's one thing that I'm working on. So my, my next thing is, 
So I've told you all a video I want to do with the garbage disposal. And the reason I'm saying that is we've got some things that we're working on. I think that's going to be a cool video. I mean, I really think that that's what I'm excited about. That That's what I've been I've been thinking about and working on for a while. So so this one I am, and I, I'm, I'm really excited about it. The next thing is put different PVC fittings in resin to make a resin tabletop. There you go. As a Norwegian plumber, I'm just wondering when are the when's the U.S. gonna jumped on me? U.S. get out of the '80s when it comes to plumbing. You, you know what? Just because we still solder, just because we still glue fittings together, don't think we're stuck in the '80s. We were doing that in the '70s. Jack's plumbing video says put different PVC fittings. I like that. Mr. Clifton, thank you so much. Have a wonderful evening. SG says in local 286 union, working for a service company, got undercut by our service supervisor. That's been in the union for 36 years, made me feel like there is no brother. And, and guys, look, there's not. Uh, here, here's the deal. Here, here's why I get down on my union. I was literally blackballed by my union. Uh, the, 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 almost called him a name and I shouldn't, shouldn't do that. Uh, Here's the thing. The, the the no good person that was running it called the company that I work for and says, y'all either get rid of Roger. We're not going to send you people anymore. If that's not blackballing a union paying member, I don't know what is. And that's where I do frown upon the union. I think there's a lot of BS that goes on in it. And unless somebody just tells me I want to be an employee forever and I want to do commercial, I don't point them to the union. I think the union has got a lot of crap to learn. The union could be the best thing in the nation, and they're not because they don't have a growth mindset. They've got a we are the union, we don't like anybody else mindset, and I think it's sad. And I hate to say that because, man, I I've, I love to be in the union. There was just too much political BS for me. Uh, Dylan Main says, does your hourly wage, wage grow every year in the plumbing union? Yes, sir, it does. Well, and it should. You, you get negotiated every year. You get cost of living raises, but if the cost of living isn't going up, you may not get raises. Dorn says, I see you're using some sort of PEX, but it seems sketchy. I'm not sure where you're talking about where you've seen that I was using it. Some PEX is sketchy. And if you're talking about those how to plumb a house videos, those aren't jobs I did. I just went out, saw some that they were doing and checked them out. I'm backfilling four foot steel pipe now for a levy. Fun, fun. Ronnie Willis says that's messed up. He would do that. That's so petty. You know, hey, look, that that's the thing. When you're dealing with business agents and business managers in the union, they can do whatever in the hell they want to. And the union says, hey, we can't control people on a local level. Well, my thing is if you can't control people, don't call yourself a union because you're supposed to be in control of them. They're supposed to be representing you as a whole. And if you can't do that, that that's pretty bad. I agree. Like 1970s plumbing, everything was done right. And they installed PVC pipe properly. I Look, I, anytime we install it, we still do it properly. It just, it, it doesn't matter that it's 70s. We're, we'll get there one day. Torn, so thinking about going back, open shop. You know, SG, look, if you want to own your own company, Open shop is the best way to go. Uh, unless your local union, say you're wanting to be a service plumber like I was. My local union kept telling me, oh, we're going to start training service. We're going to feed you work. We're going to do that. They didn't do anything. That they they and, and when I say they didn't do anything, they did some things. It wasn't enough considering I paid them about $400,000 over five years. So not quite worth it for me. Okay, Ronnie. Roger's always right. I'm joking. Uh, Chris W says, I put 10 years in the union that ended up supporting Biden. Yeah, and, and it's really funny because y'all need to go find the, the video on the United Association page where Mark McManus is talking, and it may have been a video he sent out to the union members, but it's a video where he's talking. It says, hey, man, look. We're upset with Biden. He shut down the Keystone Pipeline. He kept telling us he was going to do it during the campaign, but we really didn't think he would. That's why we told all y'all to vote on him. 
So they got 300 or told 330,000 union members to vote on Biden who was going to take work away from him. How smart was that? And then they got upset when he did exactly what they told him he would or what he told them he would do. Look, the union does not make sense. They get a lot of people that are just hardcore union and, and want to do whatever the union says to do, where sometimes you just got to look somebody in the eye and say, hey, you're lying to me. I'm not going to do that. But they don't do that. They're like, oh, you've got that big D tattooed on your back. We're going to vote for you. Wrong thing to do. Thank you, Mr. Ronnie. I appreciate that. Uh, sometimes life is messed up. So in cases, if you always worked in Texas, if not, did you have to regain all your licenses? Uh, well, even if you're in the union, you have to be a licensed plumber. So no, I never lost my licenses because of being in the union. Sorry, Ronnie. What's the average trade hourly rate in your area, union and non-union? Either way, it's probably about 35, 37 bucks an hour. <clears throat> uh, Tony Pape says, Local 170 gives you 10K in pension a year. Oh, look, I've got my pension. I put in 25 years in the union. Uh, I've got a pension. If I can wait like four more years, I can draw like 2000 2200 bucks a month, something like that. Which, guys, look, that, that's one thing that's great about the union. There is no pension in open shop, none at all. They've got good insurance. They've got a pension. The, the, there are good things about the union. Just make sure you understand what they are and are they going to benefit you? Chris W says, Indiana for drivers is 30 bucks an hour. The benefits kill. Look, there's great benefits in the union, y'all. I know the union was messed up, but didn't know it was that messed up. And, and look, that's what happened to me. That's a problem I had with my local management. I feel bad that National didn't support me either, but it, it is what it is. Salvador says, what goals do you have for 2022? Uh, man, that's a, that's a good one. Salvador. And I like that because to, to, to be honest, I've got things that I'm working on. Uh, the, the other YouTube channel, a podcast, a magazine. Uh, I am looking at some things to do to change, to shoot some really cool videos. I, I would ask everybody in here to tell 4,000 of their closest friends about my channel ask them to subscribe and then tell 4,000 of their closest friends. You know, my, my plan. And if you'd asked me this probably six months ago, I'd have said my plan for this year would be to hit a million subscribers and things have slowed down a little bit, but that's why it's got me going. I'm looking at what can I do? That's why I'm talking to y'all. What, what kind of, Stuff would y'all like to see me put down a garbage disposal? We made an air cannon the other day and shot some stuff out of it. Man, we had a blast. Uh, pretty neat. Jax Plumbing says, if you wish some imaginary pipe could exist, what would it be? Man, if it's imaginary, uh, well, I can't even tell you that because I've got, uh, y'all, I'll tell y'all, I don't care. I've got an idea of pipe that detects water flows like a, like a, a powerhouse with water flowing through it that has wheels in it that every time you're using water, it's generating power. So anyway, logic. Zach says, Roger, you're building an empire, man. And, and I'm trying, uh, but, but, but it, here's my thing. It's, it's not just so I can build an empire. It's because I want to recruit people into the trades. I want to teach people to be better tradesmen. I want to teach trades people that want to open their own company. I want to teach them the things that they need to do. I want to teach trades company owners how to use social media like I have to grow a business and not just have to pay for pay-per-click ads all day long. I've got people that call us every day that, that see videos that we do on LinkedIn, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, TikTok. They're like, hey, I saw your video. You're in our area. I, I, want, I want to use you. That's what I want to teach people how to do. So, Zach, thank you. Ronnie says, I bet Ferguson liked the magazine idea. Uh, they, they've actually seen the magazine idea. I talked to them about it before. Uh, look, I, I love Ferguson. Uh, Ferguson is, is a very good company that, that, that does good things. And they don't just do good things for me. They do good things for the communities that are in, for plumbers. Uh, man, I, I loved working with them. It was fantastic. Ronnie Willis likes. I get it, brother. I get it. Chris W says, hit the thumbs up and give this man some love. 
Well, it's getting there. It went from 15 to 39. I'll ask guys, look, if you like what we're doing, give us a thumbs up. If you haven't done it yet, subscribe. Don't know why, but but if you hadn't yet, subscribe. If you hadn't, tell me why. I say, look, I don't subscribe because I don't like you. But even if you don't like me, I'm glad you're here watching. So I do appreciate it. Uh, uh Sean Strong's back. Says, good news. The supply house carries this toilet, so he's going to go get a lid. Man, you can't say you're going to go get a lid. Man, you can get arrested for that stuff. Come on, man. Jack's Plumbing Video says, I always wish they made plastic drain fittings that could screw together. That could be good. I like that. Daryl Lopez says, there is a dishonest plumbing company in my town, and I don't understand how they're still in business after years. Uh, okay, first of all, Jax, there's yours right there. Uh, Daryl Lopez, here, here's the problem. There, there's dishonest plumbing companies everywhere. That They're all around the country. They're all around Dallas. Man, they're all around my neighborhood. You see them all the time. Uh, I, I, I'll tell you a deal. I know of a company that just hired a plumber. He's not a plumber. He's coming in as a plumbing manager. And he used to work for an HVAC company. He ran the plumbing and he ran the calls. And I'm like, well, didn't you have a license? He's like, no, it wasn't no big deal. Well, dude, you're in Texas. You're out running calls and you don't have a license. That is a big deal because if anything ever happens on a job you ran and that company didn't send out a licensed plumber, number one, they can come back and sue them. They, they can do so many things. And to me, people that just look at it like that and say, hey, it's no big deal, that breaks my heart because they really don't care about their customers. They just care about them and making money. So it is what it is. Jordan Lumpkin says, love your channel, man. I'm starting an apprenticeship tomorrow. Wish me luck. I do wish you luck. Not only do I wish you luck, I want you to come back in on a regular basis and tell us how it's going. Tell us what's happening. But, man, I do. I wish you nothing but luck. Game 5000, why does my toilet always get clogged? Because you are dropping. Never mind. Uh, you, you know, I don't know why it's getting clogged. Uh, it could have a small flush path. It could it could have small pipe under it. There could be partial clog. It could be bellies. And there could be a lot of reasons. It's not something you can just diagnose over the phone. Ed Mulhern says, Roger, you're my favorite plumbing besides himself. I like that. I like that. I'll take that. Sean says I'm his favorite plumber, period. I'm just saying. Ronnie Willis says, Daryl Lopez, it's crazy how they can keep ripping people off and people still use them. You know, you would think enough people would, would write reviews. And, you know, I always tell people, people send me messages all the time. Roger, I know you don't come to our area. How do we find a plumber in our area? Go look at their reviews. Start there. What do their reviews look like? Now, if they've got 8,000 five-star reviews, never had a bad review, you know, chances are they're buying them, they're doing something wrong. Sean Song says, I love it. If you're subscribed and aren't on the Discord or on the subreddit, then where are you at? Guys, check out the subreddit. Check out the Discord. And here's the deal. And this is something and I always ask y'all to do. Put some cool videos and pictures in the subreddit. If it's stuff you've got, stuff you've seen, put your name in there, tag it, however you want it. We make videos all the time, man. I would love to talk about some of y'all, talk about your work, good or bad, doesn't matter. If it's bad work, hopefully you tell me somebody else did it. If it's good work, hopefully you brag on yourself. Love to see it. Ed Mahern says, you're my favorite plumber. I uh, know, I love it. Uh, ooh, jumped around on me. Sorry, guys. Uh, Mr. Highway03 says, I'm addicted to watching the YouTube videos with exposed plumbers that are scamming people. No doubt. Peter Say says, I'm an apprentice to my boss in Ghana, and my problem is that I'm only taught the work that comes my boss's way, leaving the rest to be known. And guys, look, that, that's why sometimes you have to move around. If you get into a company that only does one thing, that's all you're going to learn. And it can be bad. Thomas Wheelie says, what other trade would you have picked as a teenager? Uh, it was either this or becoming a gigolo. And I, I looked in the mirror one day and thought, gigolo is not going to pay me very much. No, I, I just, I, I love plumbing. Uh, looking back now, 
I'd have probably tried to become an elevator technician, something like that. Super chat. Thank you very much. Hola from Mexico. Mexican plumbing is okay, but weird. You know, Cesar Garcia, number one, thank you very much. I appreciate that. Here's what I want to tell you is I am trying to learn Spanish just so I can do YouTube videos in Spanish for plumbing. Tell me what you think about that. And Cesar, I'll, 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 I'd really be interested to see what you have to say. Ronnie Willis says, if it's older pop, it might be root bound. Man, there, it could be roots. It could be just a buildup. It could be bellied. It could be cracked. It could be full butt. It could be a ton of different things. JV says, dear Roger, big fan here. Currently working new construction on a four floor residential. Could you do more top out videos, please? Uh, I need to. Uh, man, what part of town are you in? Because I'd love to find a four story residential. Uh, Daryl Lopez. Their website is full of reviews that says they're scammers. Man, then I don't know why people go there. Start making videos in your area. Hey, hey guys, make sure you check out videos before you hire a plumbing company. That would be great. What was the weirdest thing you found in a drain? Man, clean pipe. I've gotten some drain pipes that are so clean. It's like, man, I don't think this has ever been used. Uh, I, I found birds and squirrels and, and funky stuff like that. Marcus JM says, 36 year old, can I still become a plumber? Yes, you can. Absolutely. Guys, I've had plumbers, I've seen plumbers apprentices that were 55 years old. So, yes, you can. And guys, let's slow down on the questions. I am fixing to shut this down and get out of here. Uh, so, I'm going to run through these last ones fairly quick. I like this. Mr. Chris W says, Watched your videos for several years, and after repiping my 1870s house, it passed inspection after only two issues. Number one, congratulations for you. I love, man, I love to see homeowners that, that are willing to try stuff like that. So congratulations to you. I love that. Some dumb username says, you have an Oklahoma City recommendation for honest and down-to-earth plumber for residential kitchen remodel with utility room rebuild. Man, I don't in Oklahoma City, but I will tell you, if you're in Oklahoma City, go eat lunch at Nick's Grill. I love their burgers. Uh, and I tell you what, as good as Nick is, I tell you, ask him about a plumber. That, that's pretty funny. Yeah, you still can. Steve Johnson says, I lurk on Reddit all the time. Just never sure if I would be asking my basic questions on there. That's where our channel is great for questions. If you can put pictures and videos up about whatever you got, man, we got some good plumbers in there. We got some good people in there that, that will comment and talk to you. So it, it's good. JV says, you would have made an excellent gigolo. You know, I think I would have. I just, I'd have been, I'd have starved to death. Susan Garcia says, I like the idea, although some of our plumbing is somewhat different. As compared to the U.S., for example, most of our tubing nowadays is plastic. You know, we're getting more and more into it, so, man, I get it. Well, JV, I can't come to Vegas just to make a video. I would have to gamble. Looky there. Australia in the house. Also, electricity. We don't have connections to ground somehow. That's not good. Isaac Haynes says, what are the rules for having multiple traps? On one branch drain, is it ever permissible? It can be. How's it vented? What code are you going by? Drain Medic, we got lots because of our videos. Good for you. Found 18 feet of drain wire, of ground wire. Yeah, I found coaxial cable in the drain too. Drilled right straight through it going across. So that's kind of weird. Jack's Plumbing says, want to find old stock Orangeburg pipe fittings? Collect vintage plastic fittings and Orangeburg fittings would be cool to have. Yes, they would. I like that. Sean Strong, if you're Oklahoma City, say hi to my mother-in-law. You know, because it's such a small town, you'll probably bump into her. Yosef says, I have a question. Uh, got a plumber place today. Can you help me explain how in my state to track my hours? Can I call you possibly? Yosef, what, what I'll tell you is, number one, keep track of, number one, keep all your check stubs, pay stubs, tax returns, anything you can. If you're wanting to move to Texas, Texas has a form that you can have your employer fill out saying how many hours you work there. So that is probably the best way to do it. And, and you can message me through Facebook Messenger, stuff like that. Ten Man says, I live with an elderly family member who uses extreme quantity 
toilet paper with predictable backups? Should I buy a toilet with the biggest trapway? You can, if, and if you have a a full four inch size drain, it'll, it'll be amazing. Drain medic is in the Discord. So is our friend Cruz. Good deal. So guys, I'm going to shut it down right here. Uh, I got through all the comments. Thank y'all very much. Guys, what I'll tell you is thank you for being here. We are working on sponsorship opportunity. Mondays are going to be when we're doing giveaways. So I sure want y'all to come more often, check it out. Like I said, please tell 4,000 of your closest friends and ask them to do the same. Got one more chat coming in. It looked pretty interesting. So just went under a crawl space. Had to dig my way in to get to the two-inch line we're replacing. Chubby people can't fit and can fit under crawl spaces too. And I'll give you my story on that. At least one time when I got stuck, I had a big flat blade screwdriver in my pocket, and I was literally digging dirt out from under my chest so I could get unstuck. So thank you very much. Guys, again, thank you all for being here. I can't tell you how much I appreciate it. Uh I'm supposed to be on LinkedIn tomorrow, but I've got to be down in Central Texas for a thing going on down there. Uh, so I'm going to go down the Central Texas, going down to Texas State Board of Plumbing Examiner's board meeting tomorrow. So I got a lot of cool stuff going on. Looking forward to it. Thank you all very much. I want to say a special thanks out to Steve Arloa and Sean Strong for being in here. Uh, great guys. Uh, Miss Lynn, congratulations for fixing your toilet. Thank you guys for the super chats. I really do appreciate it. I hope you all have had fun today, and I hope I get to see you all next week. I'm Roger Wakefield, Lead AP, the expert plumber. Oops. Roger Wakefield, Lead AP, the expert plumber. I'll see you in the next video if you don't get flushed. <laughs> Thank you.